Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over an article from entrepreneur.com that talks about Golden Nugget online gaming, ticker symbol GNOG. It says, what more does Golden Nugget have to prove? It says, Golden Nugget online gaming is trying to find a base of support despite the company's delivering an earnings report that shows its expansion efforts are proceeding nicely. The article provides three reasons why investors may be holding back on the GNOG stock. This is as of May 21st, 2021. The online gaming sector has been among the hottest sectors since the pandemic has began. When gamblers were not permitted to enter casinos, they turned their attention online. One of the companies to take advantage of this trend was Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG. However, GNOG stock is down 35% in 2021, despite delivering an earnings report that was impressive by virtually any measure. The company's delivered $26.7 million in revenue, which was year over year an increase of 54%. The company's expansion efforts into the other states is also going smoothly. Golden Nugget now has potential market access in 12 states and plans to go live in seven of those states by the end of 2021. And the company reported that public warrants were exercised in the tune of $110 million. The significance of this is that having the warrants outstanding was putting pressure on and temporarily debasing the stock so why is golden nugget not getting more love from investors i can point to three possible reasons number one SPAC fatigue is real the first reason may be SPAC fatigue companies going public via a special purpose acquisition company is not new but in 2020 a record number of companies chose this route and the trend is continuing in 2021. SPAC stocks tend to be more volatile because there is less of a vetting process than in the traditional initial public offering. One of the attractive qualities of a SPAC is their availability to retail investors, but that can be a double-edged sword. In many cases, there are reasons that institutional investors chose to stay away from the SPAC companies. Like many SPAC stocks, shares of GNOG spiked sharply higher to the end of 2020 and like many SPAC stocks, Golden Nugget saw its share price drop dramatically and it has not recovered. Just like fear of missing out is a real emotion, there's also a fear of holding the bag. However, the company's revenue and forecasts show that GNOG deserves to be looked at as an online gambling stock in its own right. Another reason that is related to SPAC fatigue is the Golden Nugget chairman, Tillman Fertitta, is bringing his company, Fertitta Entertainment, uh, public via SPAC fast acquisition, ticker symbol FST. As I wrote back in March, the $6.6 .6 billion deal includes Fertitta's controlling stake in GNOG as one of the assets. So they may have changed over their position from GNOG and bought into this company because you still get a piece of Golden Nugget through FST. Uh, another thing is the company's debt. At the end of 2020, around the time that the company went public, Golden Nugget had approximately 170 million dollars in total assets and about 141 dollars uh, 141 million dollars in debt that put debt at about 82 percent of total assets the problem with that is that other companies in this sector such as DraftKings, have a much better debt position with similar or better revenue outlooks investors can appreciate the golden nugget has an operating profit but the debt could be serving as a headwind for GNOG stock yeah, look at the profitability between the two, though. That's a big thing, too. Uh, the field is crowded. Much like electric, the electric vehicle sector, a lot of companies are competing, are competing for online gaming dollars. Golden Nugget is the largest of these companies, and therefore, it's likely that investors are expecting more from the company. So they say, is Genog stock a buy? Back in March, I said that I liked the opportunity at $14 more than I liked it trading around $27. GNOG stock has come down more since and is likely to eat and I like it even more. However, the technical outlook for the stock looks messy. It's possible that GNOG may have further to drop. Nevertheless, if the stock can form a base of support at its current price, there is likely to be good, a good setup moving forward. For now, I'd put it on your watch list and look for confirmation that it's time to buy. Okay, so a couple of things here. Uh, comparing DraftKings and GNOG and the, the debt, uh, again, go look at the earnings that they're, they're, that's going on. DraftKings 
Um, there was an article that came out a while back about shows how much money they actually lose or how much they lost in one month compared to uh, the amount of money that Gnog made. Okay, um, so you know, two different companies, whatever. Um, and the opportunity here, at, so he likes it better at 14. He thinks that it may uh, be messy and look at have further room to drop. Uh, possibly it can drop down to closer to about 10 bucks or so, maybe if we have another sell off. Uh, but we're going to look at the charts here and I'm going to tell you uh, what we're going to look for moving forward and some key support and resistance levels to keep an eye on and some a uh, couple of catalysts that are coming up for the company. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at Golden Nugget Online Gaming, ticker symbol GNOG, trying to make a recovery but continues to get beat down. Uh, it bounced off of that $10 and 10 cent uh, support there, bounced off. And we're going to look here at the run it's made. So it came all the way down from $10 and 10 cents to currently trading at about $12 and 70 cents. So key support right now is going to be 962. If it falls that low, needs to stay and hold above there, which I see that if we do pull back, that's a, a very significant drop. Uh, so I would feel comfortable of it, you know, finding that support. Uh, your key resistance currently guys is 1357 and we need to get above 1381 and hold above there in order for us to confirm a, a trend a reversal in trend meaning instead of a down trend we're coming up to an uptrend but the good thing i like about these prices guys we have room to run okay uh, you see we had a high of 2810 and then constantly have been coming down and down and down so we could see a slight pullback maybe somewhere to the lower 12s before we push back up and try to break through that key resistance of 1357 okay so let me just remind you of a couple of catalysts coming up potential catalysts i should say is uh, the awards that they're nominated for let's go over to their this website and take a look at these awards that golden nugget is nominated for okay guys so this is the egr north america virtual awards it's on may 26 2021 so that's next week okay we're going to go through and show you the different uh, categories that golden nugget is nominated for so first of all casino operator uh customer service operator marketing campaign mobile operator operator of the year and that might be it but that's quite a bit okay so those are a couple of uh, things to think about. So next week, so you have one, two, three, four, five, five possible uh, chances for them to win some type of award next week. Okay, and if any of these come up as, as them winning, okay, that's going to be a positive catalyst. That's going to shoot us past that 1357 easy. Okay, I would feel a lot more comfortable once we get to about that 15 16 dollar mark and we're kind of holding steady above uh that amount okay before i can think that we're going to hit closer to that 20 dollar mark okay so as you can see here on the charts like i said your first resistance is 1357 then after that 1668 so i think once we get to that level of 1668 i'm going to feel pretty comfortable even if we kind of just hover there for you know a few weeks and then the more positive catalysts we have, we just have, uh, you know, some smaller resistance levels to push through. You see 1886 would be your next after uh, 1668 and then 2104. So we have a ways to go, guys, and we have several months. Um, hopefully that the next several months we'll see a consistent uptrend. And we just got to get that confirmation first. We have to get above 1357. And we have to get to about $14 and hold uh, before for sure we uh, reverse trend and uh, change back to an uptrend. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.